Mesos is a new technology which is generating a lot of interest in different different domains and people are observing various use cases for Mesos in various technical domains where uh, the capability of Mesos or the Mesos architecture can be utilized. Now this is about the training from study 9 on Mesos and Mesosphere. Let's look at what all things are basically part of Mesos. So to begin with, let's understand what exactly is Mesos and uh, it's actually available in two formats. One is the Apache Mesos, which is the open source version of Mesos and the other one is the Mesosphere, which is a commercial distribution of Mesos uh, supported by a company named Mesosphere. Now the Apache Mesos is basically touted as an operating system for the entire data center of yours that is across multiple servers one single operating system now what that is and the details of it we will definitely get into that later mesosphere on the other hand is that same mesos but with few more extra layers on top of it and that few more extra layers is basically a platform as a service solution known as dcos this platform as a service solution allows you to launch other platforms on top of the operating system. Basically, Mesosphere figured out if you're talking about an operating system across multiple servers, then there needs to be a way to launch applications on top of it. So Mesosphere DCOS allows you to launch various applications on top of that PaaS platform that they have built on top of the Apache Mesos, which is working as a backend for it. So let's look at it from a home versus data center perspective. So at your home, in your computer, you have various disks which act as your storage, various Ethernet and Wi-Fi adapters or wi Ethernet and Wi-Fi connections which act as your network and both of them are managed by your operating system. On top of the operating system, you run the applications. On the other hand, in the data center, you have LAN which is local area network and SAN which is storage area network. These are the kind of network and the storage components of a data center. And inside the data center, the compute is not one single server or one single machine. There are multiple servers. And all these servers would have one operating system known as DCOS. On top of this operating system, you'll be able to launch various platforms like databases and messaging queues, as well as pure applications that can run on top of them. Now, since we're calling this an operating system, let's talk about how it compares to something like Android. So the DCOS guys, they not only focused on the technical aspects of Mesos, which is the fundamental way of working across multiple servers as a single operating system and combining all the resources of various compute, storage and network components under one operating system layer across multiple servers, they also focused on the user interface of it or the experience of using it like operating system. So if you know your Android phone, you have a Play Store application from where you can download applications like let's say Firefox and that application then gets installed on your system. Similarly, in case of DCOS, you have an interface that is called as Universe Store. And this Universe Store then allows you to install various enterprise data applications on top of the DCOS operating system. This is a MongoDB. And the MongoDB can be chosen from the Universe Store and immediately be installed on top of this operating system, which is spread across multiple systems. So the on MongoDB's distributed implementation is taken care of by just implementing, choosing from the universe store and deploying it on top of the Mesos operating system, which anyway is running on top of multiple systems. Now we're talking about running one application on top of many. We typically know that we run one application on top of one server. The application runs on that server and utilizes the components of that server. Now we are saying that we will have multiple servers and we will spread the application across it, right? Now, how does that work? You know, traditionally, there is only one single way of doing it. That is, you take the application and then you divide it into multiple jobs. These jobs will run on those particular servers separately. And once these jobs are done, they will generate the outputs. And you combine the outputs and you get the output of the application. So you give a work to the application, the application converts it into multiple jobs, jobs go into different, different servers, the outputs come from different, different servers, the application layer gets recompiled, you get to see the output, and your job gets done on top of that application. 
Now this, in case of Mesos, would be happening on top of small execution environments known as containers. And there is a whole container orchestration which will go on across multiple servers to make this happen at a very highly available architecture. So in order to understand Mesos, you need to know what all things are called containers. And then how do you have containers spread across multiple servers? And finally, how do you have the Mesos implemented on top of these containers? And finally, the Mesosphere, which is going to work as a PaaS system on top of it. This will involve a lot of architectural discussions. We will see how this architecture works at a very bare minimum level. And how do you create various high availability architectures on top of it? How do you make Mesosphere that is self-healing and uh, is able to recover applications if they fail? All of those things will be covered in this course.